Coming to you live from the van, the Daily Dump. My name is Darcy. Huh. That's originally how I was going to do my channel. Talk about daily news, daily stuff, entertainment, movies, do reviews, eventually be a gamer, do some gameplay, but the more I thought about it today, reflecting at work, it just isn't me, you know? I'm still going to do this podcast, but really I'm just, it's not going to be a podcast. I wanted to, from a, I'm just going to start off as a blog. Just my day-to-day, and how I handle things mentally, physically, and spiritually, but deal with the things that I really enjoy the most, and that's being human and the physical health portion, mental health, and most importantly, the spiritual it was going to be there. Hey there, hi there, hello there. This is the accumulation of the day-to-day, week-to-week, and month-to-month news on the Daily Dump. Here on the list for me to dump on y'all is that's how I was going to go about it. But it didn't feel natural. I put out a video. I'm not mad that I didn't get views. I don't, I don't have anybody. But that's okay. Really, I just want to put myself out there and just be vulnerable constantly, all the time. It it helps me release personal weight that I'm holding down. I mean, holding on that weighs me down constantly every day. And I don't see, I'm a long time user of YouTube. I don't really see a lot of people talking about that. Unless something major in true crime cases comes up or a celebrity is going through the same motions, same waves, or we see victims doing the same thing. I mean, going through the same wave and so we can relate to them. I think I want to start something new. This is, hopefully this is something new no one else has ever done before. Not ever, but um have the courage to constantly talk about this. It's it's very hard and difficult to be vulnerable constantly, all the time. But I'm going to try, because I want to. And I feel I can do a service to the world, to my fellow humans, if I just be a lightning rod for them to, for everyone to relate to. That's on the day-to-day basis. I suffer constantly through mental anguish that wears down my body. I hate the job that I'm working at. I've done it only to, for one, help my fiance, and she got me that job. I'm blessed for that, because it's hard when you're someone like me. I'll admit, like, not, it's probably not surprising that I have a record, but I do, I'm not proud of that, but it's a very harsh lesson that I had to deal with, and still overcoming, and I feel more like my mother, she is infamous for holding grudges, infamous, my dad, my family. Everyone will tell you. If the ones that know me, knows. And the people that don't know, yeah, she can hold hell of a fucking grudge. But I want everyone to relate to me. And I want to relate to everyone. So this is why I want to start this podcast the way it is. (sighs) Or blog per se. Yeah, I'll do some cursing, but overall, I want this to be child-friendly. I want kids to be present in the moment, and I know a lot of kids, especially my my four, well, five, but four of them are old enough to use YouTube and tablets, and I don't want to talk about my opinion on the world. Not all the time. I'd really rather talk about exposing myself, 
make it relatable so that it's easier for everyone to come to. I would like to hear other people's opinions, other people's trauma, anguish, and pain. So that we can connect more. That's what we're losing out on. Connection. I was just hearing a podcast the other day about with Cole Sprouse. Man, that it's amazing. He he looks younger but talks older. And sometimes he looks older and younger at the same time. But me and him, we're the same age. Me and the Sprouse twins, I grew up with them. Through TV and all that. I wanted to be that. I wanted to be famous, be an actor. I love entertaining. I love putting smiles on people's faces. I love... I enjoy that. But I enjoy it more with people who I'm comfortable with. (laughs) It's hard to put that type of expression as a first impression on someone you just met, someone you don't trust yet. But hopefully with me doing this constantly and every single day I'm going to post videos like this on what I'm going through until either YouTube says the guidelines don't meet, I don't meet the criteria, or until I'm, I feel in the right spot that I'm connected with everyone, that I would lose my antisocial anxiety, or wait, I would lose my antisocial personality, overcome my anxiety, and Get connected with everyone, you know? That's just some of the things I deal with. I use many different voices inside of my head to overcome things. Those are the voices in my head sometimes. You know, I just talk as a Brit. It don't matter which way it goes, you know? It's just sometimes I get a little cockney with it, you know? I just do it like that. And sometimes I speak with elegance and purpose. You know, just I like using, utilizing my voice. I like it a lot. It don't matter to me if people like it, hate it, or love it. It's just another external way for me of exposing myself without actually showing myself. But I am showing myself in a way that's weird, so I play myself. Hold on, pull that back. But this is just an introduction of what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do and perceive things. <laughs> Today I was going to talk about something just idiotic and crazy, like spring break. <laughs> After two deadly shootings in Florida, people just... Young people just want to parade the streets and act like shit's all hunky-dory and with no care in the world, just want to party and live a life and just do YOLO. And it's, it's not YOLO. We have this life for a reason. We have one for a reason. I just recently saw Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. That's one of the, not one of the greatest, but in that moment, it was great. What I explained. We all act like that. We all act like we're immortal. And we can't be touched. Until death creeps up behind us. Just to remind us. You're in your last life. Choose to use it wisely. And if you don't. Keep living the way you live. And I'm going to send you to a place. Where. It's going to be worse. Than how you were actually living your life. You think this is bad? Wait till I get my grips on you. Wait till I get my claws. Wait till I get my scythe through your shoulder blades. And I drag you down with me. Every day I'm blessed and I'm thankful for the woman in my life. I can relate to Sprouse, to Cole on so many levels and talking about how he had... There's three relationships, two of which he went into them the same way. Just like I did. I have an ex wife. <laughs> that's where I got my. I got a beautiful son out of it, but that's whom I got in trouble with, with the law, the Johnny Law, you know. 
Oh, you got me. And my ex-girlfriend, again, with just the... Ugh. There's just no snap in this guy. When is he gonna stop? I don't know. He's never gonna stop. Huh, that's the voice I like to use. When I really want to be flamboyant and expressive with myself. But it's, I'll get more in depth with myself and with you, the community. I want to. I do want to connect with everyone, especially, especially someone like I've listened to his videos recently. But Jordan Peterson, I've seen him on my feed years back. Didn't take it too serious. I didn't take physical. I mean, physical psych psychiatric help seriously, mental health seriously, but I like the Daily Wire. I like how they're just bold, like Candace Owens and, um, what's another one? Ben Shapiro, um, other people that I don't know, but those are the top three that I know right now, and what they talk about and what they discuss and how <laughs> it's liberating to hear what they have to say about the liberals. Our inner bounds. <laughs> but really they are the ones that are gonna that are, I hold to high regard. They're helping me in a sense of media, in a sense of the world, come out. And it's okay. It's okay. And I want this. I don't care. I used to care so much about success, so much about fame, so much about riches, where I wanted to be a computer program. I still do. I want to be a whole bunch of things. I want to be a film director, computer desi computer designer, build my own computers, have my own garden, do my own pharmaceuticals, have my own apothecary. I wanted to do something, find something new with energy and sell that or become the big newest energy monolith of the world the new pharmaceutical of the world but i i had a good purpose for it and spiritually i know that there are that there is true pure darkness evil amongst us with us constantly on the day-to-day -day. i witnessed it not much of a i am a conspiracy theorist but it's it's just theory to me because I witnessed it firsthand what reptilian shapeshifters look like. I mean, I've dated two of them in my in my time when I was all about getting fucked up, getting drunk, smoking weed, doing other drugs. I've seen it, mind you. Four occasions. Two different women, four occasions, two times, one sober, one I was high, no alcohol. I looked, I'm not going to name names, but I looked at her in the face one time, we are just chilling, we were talking, I looked, and it, like, if you've ever seen Species, it was just like, it was just like that, and I freaked out, I'm like, don't, don't look at me, don't look at me, you're freaking me out. It's like, what? I'm like, I looked again, I'm like, what, you look like a monster. She took that insult to me, but I'm like, no, you look, you were shape shifting in front of me. It's like, no, you're lying. I'm not lying. I had a serious face. Kanye face. And then it happened again, and I was completely sober. Couldn't look, and I looked away. Then the next girl, I was high, and I looked to my left and just seen the teeth. And seen the smile, ear to ear, seen the scales coming out, seen the eyes turning yellow, turning to like cat eyes when they're about to pounce. And I looked away and I said, I can't look at you. And then it happened again when I'm sober. The only thing I regret is I wish I had the spiritual courage to stay in that moment, stay present, and stare at them and watch it happen. To get a full scale grip on everything that was going on at that moment. But I didn't. I was scared. I was focused on the future. And I was focused on the past. 
and that me. But lesson learned, right? But I know it's out there. I know it's true. Don't believe everything that you hear on the news, obviously. Don't believe everything that someone tells you, obviously. Believe the wisdom, the experience. That's the that's the wisdom. Is the experience that you went through. Believe that. And yeah, I'm addicted to watching horror movies and overcoming the darkness, the evil, watching good versus evil, see who triumphs. I mean, I've been battling, I've defeated my nightmares since I was 12 years old. The the moments where they say, oh, don't wake up, see you about to fall or... Yeah. Experiencing death in your dream, you could face death for real, but I've done that plenty of times, countless times. And I'm going to keep doing that because we're, we're stronger than what they tell us. We're not weak. We're weak in the mind, yes, because it's easily, it's plastic, it's easily moldable. But once you learn how to handle yourself and fortify it, I'm, I'm not there yet. <laughs> I am far from there. I just, I don't really talk to myself enough and practice what I preach and act on what I'm thinking and learning. It's just something we got to do. And I want to use this as a way to connect and to communicate with everyone else out there who struggles day to day, struggles worse than I do. Instead of putting on a show, take off your face. I'm going to take off mine. I'm going to shed and lay bare. So I guess that wraps it up for the introduction. This is Darcy. My new channel. New channel. What do you mean new channel? I've never had an old channel. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. But, uh, yeah. It's a channel. This is how I'm going to perceive myself. Be vulnerable. And that's it for me on the Daily Dump. Thanks for letting me dump on y'all. Peace.